angles in a triangle. So we could have acute, right, or obtuse. Those are the type of triangles that you can have for angles. Now, before we get into this all, what are acute, right, and obtuse? Well, remember, we, did, we already learned this, but um, in case you forgot, acute angles are less than 90 degrees. Right angles are exactly 90 degrees. And then obtuse angles, everybody knows they're greater than 90 degrees, but they're also less than 180 degrees. That's important to understand. So those are the three types of angles, and they're also the three types of ways that we can classify triangles in terms of the triangle's angles. So it's very important when we talk about triangles to remember this factor. All triangles are 180 degrees. So the, the sum of the three angles, right, triangle, of course, tri means three, and a triangle has three angles. So the sum of those three angles is 180 degrees. That's very important. So important, in fact, that we wrote it a second time. All triangles are 180 degrees. And by that, I mean the three angles add up to 180 degrees. All right, so the first type of triangle we talked about was an acute triangle. That's a three-sided polygon with three acute angles. Now, this word polygon, that might be new to you. All a polygon is, is a closed figure. So in other words, you don't see any opening here along this, this black, uh, these black line segments. So it's a closed figure, and it's made up of line segments. Well, these are uh, these clearly have endings, and there's two endings there, so it's a part of a line, right? All right, so in this particular acute triangle, we're going to prove that it's acute by figuring out this third angle. Um, so remember, I told you that all triangles, the three angles add up to 180 degrees. So if I do this out, 65 plus 45, 65 plus 45 is 110 degrees. And a wolf people will come up with and say that this this angle right here is 110 degrees. But if you did the math out, obviously that would make this triangle more than 180 degrees. What you have to do is take 180 and subtract from that 110. And so the missing angle here is 70 degrees, which is why it's an acute triangle. All three angles are acute. The next example we have is a right triangle, a three-sided polygon. Again, polygon means um, all, the, all the sides are closed here, and they're all made up of line segments. And there's one right angle and two acute angles in a right triangle. When you think about it, there can't be two right angles in a right triangle, because if that were the case, a right angle we know has 90 degrees, and if there was a second one here, let's say it was right here, that would mean these two angles would comprise of 180 degrees, so this third angle would make that triangle more than 180 degrees. So the most right angles you can have in a right triangle is one. So you're always going to see two acute angles, but that doesn't make it an acute triangle. This makes it a right triangle, and that's all we need to know. So to find this missing angle, again, we do 90 plus 40. And we get 130, and once we get 130, we can do 180 minus 130. So that missing angle there is 50 degrees, and if you went back and added 50 plus 40, that would be 90, and then 90 plus 90 would be 180, so you know you did it right. Finally, the last example, an obtuse triangle, a three-sided polygon with one obtuse angle and two acute angles. Again, if I had two obtuse angles, let's say they were, they were 91 and 91, right, which is a pretty small obtuse angle, those two angles would add up to 182 degrees. And so therefore, you can't have two obtuse angles in an obtuse triangle, just one. So I have 30 and 35 here. Let's add those up. That's 65. And then I do 180 minus 65. So that missing angle there is 115 degrees. And that's one angle, that 115 degrees, that's why this is classified as an obtuse triangle.